Here are three reasons why I hate Merge and Center in Microsoft Excel. So I have an Excel spreadsheet here. I'm in row number three. If I want to select with the keyboard, Shift Spacebar will always highlight a row. And Control Spacebar will select the column. But if I have Merge Cells, I'm in cell F2. I'm going to do a Control Spacebar to select the column. It highlighted two columns because merge and centers going on in column F. Second reason I don't like merge cells, I'm going to right click on anyone's last name. I'm going to go to sort and I'm going to do a sort A to Z. And there's the message box I get basically saying merge cells was, is the issue. I wish this box said don't merge and center. That's what it should say. I'm going to click OK. And the third reason I hate merge cells, I want to know in this data range, which stops in row 37, I wonder if there's any duplicates. Data tab, data tools, and there is remove duplicates. Click it once. I want to select everything. Everything's already selected. Click OK. And there we go again. That box should say don't use merge and center. So I'm going to click OK. So two ways to get rid of merge cells, actually three. One is to sit here and click, go to home, unmerge. But I still got more, I still got more in here. So I'm going to do an undo and put that one back. I'm going to just simply select all right above row one. Hit the arrow for merge and center and unmerge. That took care of it. Let's see if it's right. I'm going to right click on my name, do a sort, A to Z, it's sorted, A to Z. Undo. The other way to undo, the other way to get rid of merge cells, they are back now by the way, is you can write a little bit of VBA code and then when you go to macro, unmerge, and I'm going to hit run, and that took care of them. The advantage of the macro that I just ran is it'll unmerge not just from this worksheet, which is called workshop, it'll unmerge every worksheet. Now, if you do like what Merge and Center does, I'm going to add a worksheet. And let's say we have product here, product A, product B. And then I have January through December running across the top. And I'm getting ready for next year's budget. So I want to put in fiscal year 2019 here. FY 2019 budget. Select. So here we go again. Merge and center. Don't do that. I just did it, but here's why again. Control space bar. It highlighted it all. Undo. So simply select. Go to the word alignment, hit the arrow, you're still in the alignment tab, center across selection, click OK, and you can tell, here's the difference, when you do a merge and center, this all becomes A1, so there's no C1, D1, E1, but now there is, I'm looking up here in the name box, so it did work, let's test it, control space bar should only select column D, and it does. And then what I would do, and I'll show you this in tomorrow's video, is if you don't want to have to keep selecting this, go into alignment, you can quickly set up a style. So when you just click it, it's just one click, it'll do this. Anyway, I appreciate your time. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll have two more videos posted this week, which is the week of October, eh, whatever it is, October 10th is today. I don't know what week it is. I appreciate it. Bye.